All right, good on everyone's house of math. We are just drilling for skills again. Here, I'll give you the first. I'll give you the fast ones. I'll give you the fast ones. Ready? I have a surprise for you. Oh, do you? Ready? Yeah, yeah. Graph paper. Hey, good stuff. Let's play with some graph. We'll, we'll play with some graph paper here. Maybe today. All right, you. Let's see if you can beat the child. All right, my money's on you, Paige. All right, so. <laughs> see the shot, he, the look he just gave me. All right, here are the fast ones, fast ones. These are the easy ones. What? Oh. What? 19, 11 times. What's 18, 12 times? What's uh, 17, 13 times? What's, uh, let's see, 16, 14 times? These are all the easy ones. And then, of course, 15 squared, 15, 15 times. What's 11, 19 times? Or 19, 11 times? Anytime. Oh, 209. 209, remember? What? We got a hundred. We got nine tens and one tens is two tens. One times not two oh nine. What's this one gonna be? Oh. Wait. Yeah. All right, get your blocks out, young lady. Hang on, hang on. Right, no hanging on. Get your blocks out. No, it's one hundred. It's not one hundred. <laughs> get your blocks out. One fast one. All right, so build this. 18 that way, 12 that way. I'm gonna build it super fast. Bam. I need to magnetize a set of these. This should be a project. Oh, by the way, you'd be losing all your money right now. What? You bet on Paige. I know. Did you hear that, Paige? Did you hear the snarky comment from the teenager? A what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, bottom line is you need to pick your game up. Twelve. Alright, so 18 that way, 12 this way. Bam! You know that, how much is right there? 80. Oh, stop. Uh, okay, yeah, this right here. I'm talking about what would go in here. Two times eight. Sixteen. Sixteen. So, all right. There's a hundred. There's two hundred, and the sixteen. Got it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> She's dancing. I think you got it. All right. Good. Good. Oh, I just noticed. Why is this one over here? Why is it still stuck here? <gasps> Look, it's a magnetic one. All right. There you go. Okay. So, two hundred and sixteen. Bam. Done. You know why? Because the tens add up to, the, right? The ones, when you do the ten times ten times, those are going to be tens. That make sense? All right, so 216. What's this one going to be? Two what? 21. 21. What's this one going to be? 224. What's this one going to be? 225. Right? These are the easy ones. All right, now, get your game on, because it's going to be not the so easy ones. But see, you got to do those over and over again, so you just know them. Don't even think about it. Hey, come here. Hold it. Give me this. Look, do you eat this kind of stuff? I don't, I've tried it, but I don't like it. You don't like seaweed? You'd rather have, what do you got? Ooh, is that pieces of strawberry? Dried bananas and dried strawberries. Yeah, dried bananas and dried strawberries. I saw some strawberries in there for sure. It looks delicious. All right. Are we ready for another round? All right. Four, uh, I'll tell you what. Let's go higher. 17, 14 times. That's supposed to be a four. 238. Right? He's, he's munching you, Paige. All right, look, 100. Oh, yeah, 228. 100, and then 20. Wait, 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 it's not 228, it's 238 because you got an extra one there. This is 11, is that right? Okay, I hope you guys can start seeing a really fast way to start doing these. 
right? Because look, now that's just 11. Uh, all right, all right, so let's do it, let's do it, let's do it again. How about if I had uh, 19, see, and I'm not going to give you any rules, but it kills me sometimes. 19, 13 times. All right, what is that? That's 100. What's 9 and 3? Two hundred fifty-seven. I like it. What's nine and three? Oh, uh, twelve. Twelve tens. And three times nine is. Twenty-seven. Bam. No wait. Two hundred forty-seven. There you go. Two hundred forty-seven. Two forty-seven. Done. Do you see? One, two, three. Put them together, and the, most of the time, the only action is going to be super small, and there's never going to be any action over here. It's always just going to be that zero, so you'll know what it ends in whenever we're multiplying in our teens. That changes when we start getting other numbers, but anyway. Uh, pick a number between 1 and 9. 8. 18. Pick a number between 1 and 9. 6. 6. 16. All right, so 18, 16 times. What have I got? I got 100. I've got 140. I've got a 48. I was right. What is it? 288. That's it. 288. See how fast it is? Okay. So now, if you know how to do it, if you know what to do, right, this is the only action in the whole thing. You know how to do that, because what's 6 times 8? 48. Right? What's 7 times 8? 7 times 8. 56. What is uh, 9 times uh, 7? Everybody should know that. It's 63. I agree that everybody should know that. Alright, so if I have 19, 17 times, well now it's just 100. That's super easy. 160 and 63. Oh, three, two, he, then he writes it two. Three, two, three, done. Where did three come from? Well, because there's more than 10 right there. So I get an extra one over here and I don't have to go this way. I can go that way because I know that's 12, right? Yep, I give him a thumbs up. That's good. Like the thumbs up. Don't like the thumbs down. All right. So now all we got to do is practice. <laughs> Now all we got to do is practice <coughs> on the, uh, she's doing this. <laughs> now we got to, now we, all we got to do is practice speed. Because speed is what you need. And I do, I have worksheets on this, I have all, right? But see, you've been doing it long enough that I can skip right over this thing. But that's all it is, right? That's. These two boxes are right here, that box is right there, and that box is right there. Right? And you got to be able to see it in your brain. And then I can look at this and I can say, oh, that's the same thing as saying x plus 9, x plus 7 times, except I know that x is 10, so sometimes it's easier to have a substitution. I had a long conversation with a guy that did math and we talked about sub when you get really complicated ones, sometimes it's easier to substitute a u when you know that u is equal to x squared, 5x and 7 or something. So rather than writing that over and over again, you just put a u in there. But anyway, uh, that was too easy, but all right. So what do I have? I have x squared, so the same thing I just did a second ago, 16x and 63. So again, 100, 160, oh God, 160 and 63. Is everybody happy? I think I got everybody happy. There you go. All right. So try to be fast. Are you ready? Here, I'll pick a green pen. See if this one writes. Ooh, it writes nicely. All right. So let's say, uh, pick a number between 1 and 10. 7. 7. Pick a number between 1 and 10. 8. All right. I must order from Amazon. Or someplace. There you go. 17, or what do we have? 18, 17 times. Well, that's easy. What is it? 306. 306, because it's 100. It's 150, 7 and 8. That's why you got to know your add-ins by heart. And 56. I'm going this way. Do I have an extra one? 
Uh, extra yeah. 100, yes I do. Extra 100, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, so instead of two, it's, oh my gosh, I had to add one, one, and one, and I got three! <laughs> and that means there's no tens, and that means there's six left over all this stuff, right? I got kids that just whine. Okay, you young lady, I'm very pleased with you because you got your single digit multiplication down. Right? Got that handled. Well, now it's just more stuff. Give me the problem, and I bet you I can do it in five seconds. I bet you you can. All right, so I'll tell you what. I'll give you... You want a hard one? In ten seconds. Okay, ten seconds. You get ten seconds. What's 19 squared? It's 19 both ways. Got it. Um, 100. More than 100. Five, I have seven. I mean, wait, What are the three parts? What are the three parts? Give me the three parts. Hundred. Then what? Yeah, it's a hundred. And then a hundred and eighty. Yeah, then one hundred eighty. Then you add those together, which is two hundred and eighty. All right, but wait a minute. What happened to the nine times nine? Yeah, nine times nine, which is eighty-one. So one hundred. So when it equals three hundred and sixty-one. Bam! That's one you should memorize, by the way. The, the squares, right? Let's count by square numbers. Just for fun. I don't talk about memorization much, but sometimes you just it oh, helps if you memorize. You ready? Yeah, I am ready. Wait, let's see if you can go faster than I can write them. One, one. times one is one. Two squared is four. Four. Nine. Nine. Yeah, you hurry up! Quit eating and, and pay attention. Sixteen. Where did one compare to 25. Alright, we'll go to 36. Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> See? What's the next one? 49. Yeah. He keeps beating you. 64. 8 squared. Four, um, 81, 81. 9 81. squared is 81. That's the next one. She was trying to skip ahead to get her ahead of you. And then 100. Oops. Oh, yeah, it is 10 squared. All right, those are the easy ones. Up to 10. Now, let us continue. 11 squared. 121. 121. 12 squared. 124. 120, uh, 124. 144. 144. <laughs> 13 squared. Um, 169. 169. And I hope you can see these. 19. Right? And this is why I, I tell people to get to... Hold on, let's just pause for a second on this one. Boom, 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 right, bam. Alakazam. Alakazam, bam. Oh, this has got a magnet on it. What do you know? I'm peeling this magnet off. All right, so, bam, bam, 169. Don't even have to do any adding. Don't even have to do it. It's non-dynamic, as they say. Um, I think we do, but we have three more minutes. All right, fine. Yeah, except we started super late, so I think we're gonna do more. Let's do let's do seven more minutes. Wait, what? The half hour's gone. Oh, it's a it's a half hour. I was like, it's not. Yeah, we didn't do an hour. Yeah. All right, look over here. You're 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 consistently. Just, you're, I'm expecting you to beat him, and you keep not beating him. What's fourteen squared? Know what 14 squared. Well, then think about it. One nine. Yeah, one ninety six. One hundred. And uh, twenty six. Oh, one ninety six. Yeah. How do you know fourteen squared is gonna be less than thirteen or twelve squared? Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, fifteen squared should be easy. Two twenty five. This is the beginning of your. 225, there you go. That's the, that's the, uh, that's... Oh, in squared, I'm sorry, I keep getting it muddled up with times two. Yeah, well, 15 two times is 30, so that's not even going to be 100. All right, anyway. All right, all right. All right next one. All right, pay attention, and give me the answer. I, I keep getting this up. 15 squared equals th 356. No, no, sorry, not 300. I mean 256. 256, I like it. That's a hexadecimal anyway. 17 squared. 29. 289. 18 Three, squared. 326. 324. 324. 324. 19 squared, which is where we got here in the first place. 361. I love it. Good job. And 20 squared. 
400. Done. All right, there they are. There's your square numbers. All right. This is how you get there. That's, this is the diagonal. If you've got your multiplication tables, we just did the diagonal, right? Okay, and then you got to do the diagonal on top and on bottom. But the bottom line is, kids, childrens, 17 times 19, if you know that, then you know 17 times 19. Because 17 times 19 and 19 times 17 are the same number. Wait, really? <laughs> hey, really? So, what do we have for both of these answers? I'll just put it in the middle there and drive people that are meticulous about their notation insane. What's the answer? Uh. Uh. <laughs> ah, I'm dying even more. Come on, give me an answer. 300. Oh, God. All right, fine. Let's do the parts. 100. 16 and 63. We just we've done this. Yeah, 300. 300. Um, we have 32 to me again. I thought you were gonna know that because we did it, but apparently we ran into a momentary lapse of reason or some kind of mental block or God knows. But anyway, it's 323. Whether it's 17 times 19 or 19 times 17, right? So when you learn one of them, you've got two flats. When you do your matrix, you know, you got. I'm gonna draw the matrix. Boop. So, this is 20 by 20, so over here in this corner, that'd be 400, right? The diagonal that we just did was all the square numbers. Um, you've got this down pat over here to 10 times 10. Like, if I ask her, what's, uh, what's uh, 8 times 7? 56. What's 9 times, ooh, what's 9 times 8? Six, um, 8, uh, 72. 72, there you go. Don't panic. Relax. Take a breath. Exactly. Well, and then I, when I took a breath in, I got a mosquito or a gnat. Lovely. We're in the tropics. Uh, let's see here. I just breathed in a mosquito. Lovely. <laughs> um, you know, free, free pass. Save free. the blood vessels. Mm, delicious. Uh, let's see here. And then down here, what am I going to have? Well, these are the these are the teens times the single digits, which are the same. And then over here, it's the double digits times the double digits, right? So let's do some let's do some single digit ones real fast and, and then we'll call it out of time. What's seventeen six times? Wait, we still have. Are you sure we still have just eight more minutes? Okay, I'll give you I'll give it eight more minutes. Actually, never mind. All right, tell me the answer. One hundred and two. Okay. You you okay. you okay. strawberry eater you. Forty two. 42 and 60 is? 102. 102, you got it. Bam. Can I go? Can you go? Um, do you want to go? Do you want me to go? No, I never want you to go. You said that I could go. Well, if you want to, you can. All right, so here's what I want you to do. We're doing fractions, okay. right? Or, well, you're, do you're doing fractions in school, right? Yes. All right. Well, can you see that whenever we do fractions, it's just no, no, a lot of multiplication. We're doing bid maths. We're doing what? Bid maths. Bit maths? Okay. What stands for? All right. B stands for brackets. Mm-hmm. Okay. Brackets. I stands for, but the D stands for division. Oh, gosh. They're teaching okay. you a creative way to divide. Is that what they're doing? No, it's not dividing. Uh, and then... How do you do I division know. without dividing? M stands for multiplying. A stands adding. And then F stands for subtracting. Oh, uh, yeah. You're doing division. Because that's what you're doing. You're keeping track of your subtraction. Ben, what? it's not division. Okay, okay so say you had... Yeah, I'll write a problem for you. Alright, excellent. Write me a problem. Now we're getting to the nitty gritty. And then you need to stick around because in mere moments we're going to have a sullen teenager who needs some help with straight lines. There's nothing confusing. It's math I'm using. Oh no. It's those straight lines. 
Alright, alright. Oh, uh, I'm up. Okay, hold it closer. That's a problem? Yeah, that's a problem. Alright, you're learning PEMDAS is what you're learning. What comes first? Uh, I see. Alright, cool. I like it, I like it. So, how does it work? It's please excuse my Aunt Sally. Or excuse, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Or please, Elvis must dance and sing. Okay. What you do? What you do is what? Okay. Multiplication okay. first. Right. Right. Then you do the division. Excellent. And then you do the subtraction. Parentheses, that's what you say in the brackets, right? Yep. And then you do what? Whatever exponents, if there are any. And then you do multiplication. And then you do division. And then what do you do? Uh, and then you do the... So if you do parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, then you do addition, then you do subtraction. Alright, I like it. I like it. See, they're teaching you... This is called order of operations. And we were just practicing this part, the multiplication part. All right. How about this one fast one? I just I just do something quick. Ah, you got your graph paper there, right? Yeah. Actually, you don't even need your graph paper for this one. Save it. Save save your graph paper. I'm saying. What if I had something crazy like three sevenths plus uh, mm -hmm. two? Hmm. See, I picked seven because there's nothing in between. So let's go with uh, two thirds. I want to add those two numbers together. What do I gotta do? All right. So what you have to do is you find the number that they both go into, which is twenty-one. That I like numbers. it. That they both go into. I like it. I like it. We're, we're we're multiplying by one, so we're gonna multiply this one by one. This kind of one. And we're gonna multiply this one by one. This kind of one. Seven. So then two times seven equals. 14, and mm -hmm. then 3 times 3 equals 9. So Alright, so this one's going to be the same thing as 14, and this one's going to be 9. And then you add them together. What do I get? You get 20... Um, 20... Uh, oh, come on, 4 and 9. I'm 23 over 21. Alright, is that proper? Which as a next number is 1 and 321. Ooh, close. What's the difference between uh, 21 and 23? Okay, 321. Yeah, there you go. Two 21s. Right? 21 times 1 is 21, plus another 2 is 23. There it is. Beautiful job. Oops, that's not a plus, that's an equals. Alright, I like it. I like it a lot. I think. Did you Yes. All right. I'm I'm pleased with you. All right. So next 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 week, let's try both of us to be on time. No, you weren't on time. I know, but I was I was yeah I know I was I was I was tardy, but the week before that I was sitting around. So you know. <laughs> anyway, what do you guys do? What did what? Last week, what did you guys do? California. Yeah. No problem. One of these days you're going to go to California and I'm going to show up over there just so I can watch all the fires burn. Oh, speaking of that, how's your property over there? It's fine, but I mean, there's some fires kind of close and the winds are blowing, so... Yeah. You heard it. Yeah, I know. It's, dude, it's a little scary. Fire is, fire is one of those things. We, we humans, we don't do really well with fire. Not, not tremendously well. Anyway, but I'm glad to hear you're, you're not being terribly adversely affected. Also, your your farm should do well too because you got a lot of green. Whereas there are many of those other farmers are silly and they just got brown dirt and poison grass that burns. Anyway, I gotta go. My next class. You did great. You did you did fantastic. Yes, you definitely get a thumb. In fact, you get two thumbs up, not just one. Yeah. All right. Talk to you. Talk to you soon. All right. All right. Bye. 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 All right. Class. Back to back classes. Cruiser Ramones House of Math.com for more.